So now we will be learning how to handle gestures. So for that we need to pull another module from React Native that is called Pan Responder. So first let me write a little bit of code then I'll explain you. So here I'll be writing const and pan and I'll make use of this pan responder and I will call create method from this pan responder and here I will pass up an object. Right. So first argument which I'll give to this object or first option which I'll give to this object is on, on move should set pan responder and this will be set to true like so. Now, now this line, uh, this line means that when we move our fingers, then animation should take place, right? To start this pan responder, right? Or to kick in this pan responder, right? So, so this pan responder should be responsible when we start uh, moving our fingers, okay? So, yeah, I know the syntax is quite weird. We are uh, here writing a function and this function is returning a true and this is how it is being written on the documentation right okay so we need to follow that now in here we'll be passing let's say one more argument on pen responder move right now for now what i will do i will here pass uh, e and c two arguments and i'll console.log both right i'll console.log these both both the argument e and c right let's save this right and uh, i think i should comment this or maybe here yeah, i can just get rid of this animation dot timing in here right let's say this again right now i'll go to this console in here right if i just touch this right oh now you know we need to do one more thing we need to somehow link this pan to this view right to this view right so for that it's quite straightforward so for that here i need to insert some javascript so i need to use these brackets and here i will spread something and the something will come from this pen dot pen handler like so so this is how we link our pen respond pen responder with this animated dot view right so i'll save this and now if i click on this or i will i should say drag and I, i'll get uh, this lot of console dot log right so this this object is basically uh, the the gesture right so this uh, uh, this c is basically this c the c is basically this object which we have got right and in this object we have dx and dy right these are the basically positions of our finger right we can say right and this is basically the event which we have so it has a lot of values but right now we don't want something from this e right instead we'll be making use of this gesture right yeah so what i will do i will get rid of this function right here i'll make use of this animated now let me write something and then i'll explain you animated and this is basically an array and the first argument will be null right because the as i show you showed you right the first argument was e right and i don't want to do something that with e right because first argument is for native event right let me show you that on documentation as well and in here yeah on documentation so uh, yeah so on pan responder move so this first argument is for event but we don't want to do something with the event instead we want to do something with the gesture right with the gesture which was the second argument which i just showed you in here this the hell right in this argument we want to use this dx right we want to use this dx right okay let me code little bit and then i'll explain you more okay right and in this a sec and i'll put a comma and i'll pass a second object inside this i'll use this dx and dx and i'll map this dx value to this position dot x like so and i'll also use this dy and i'll map this position of this dy right p o position dot y now what the hell i'm doing this so when i'll move my finger so i'm setting the position position x to the value which dx has right so dx value is changing when i'm changing my fingers and when i'm moving my fingers this dx value is changing now i am changing the position value right to the value which dx has similarly i'm changing the position y value to whatever this dy has 
right so this is what i am doing in here and if i save this now i should be able to drag this right if i i should be able to drag this now you can see we are able to drag this and this is amazing why we are able to drag this because i am changing the position and i am changing this position here as well i am using this position in this transform and i am translating it as x and translating this in y right that is why i am able to move right we did this in our previous video right okay yeah so the, now you can move this right you can move this now this is amazing now here you can see we have used interpolate that is why it is rotating then we have only interpolated in the x so this will not rotate if if i just move in my y direction right see if i am moving in y this is not rotating if i am moving in x then not it, it is rotating because i am inter i have interpolated over x right okay now let's say if i release this it should again be back to normal first of all i will center this card I will center this uh, kind of a box. So for that, in here I can add justify content, and this will be center, center, and align items, and that will be also center. See center like so. If I save this now, box should be in the center somewhere, right? Okay. Now let's say here is we can give a one more argument that is on pan responder on p. Pan responder release. Yeah, this one. Now here again, this will be a function. And let's say when I will release this box, so then again this position should be back to the center. For that here, I can use this position dot set value. We have something called a set value, and set value should be here. X should be again back to zero, and Y should be again back to zero because initial position of these these are zero, and we are centering this by adding this styles. Right. Let's save this. right now i should be able to drag right if i release this is again back to normal back again back to center right so this is kind of a nice uh, animation so we have learned how to interact right with the animation right by using this pan responder okay yeah now let's say when i am releasing i want to animate uh, i when i am releasing this again this should perform some animation right for that i will comment this line instead we can again make use of the spring or timing right let's say i'll again make use of a and i animated dot here i can use this spring right now from which position we want to animate so we want to animate from the current position which uh we can get from this position right and to value which is again back to 0 comma Zero y x zero x zero. So when I release, this will again move from whatever position the card has to again back to its initial position. Let's save this and we'll see a little animation because we have used spring in here. If I release this, oh, oh, I need to start as well. Yeah, I need to call start. Now sometime I I always forgot to call this start. Let's save this. Now if we release this, now it is kind a of, kind of performing nice animation, bouncy animation, and again again it is. setting back the position of x to 0 and y to 0 right again it is coming back to its initial position now this animation is nice this animation is nice beautiful right i am loving this as you can see rotation is only being performed in uh, when i am translating in the x right because we have interpolated over x if i'll interpolate over y this rotation is only perform when i translate in the y direction as you can see this is not rotate in uh x but x was quite quite amazing right now this is how you, this animation you will be find in this you will be finding in your tinder application right you if you have used tinder application then in that application you can swipe this card and as you swipe this card cards rotates right cards rotates we have performed lot of rotation so you can decrease this value to perform some smaller rotation or you can increase this value right yeah you can do that or we can do that let's say instead of the 360 i can write 90 right now if we translate this now we can see we have little a uh, lot smaller rotation right yeah this is also nice right yeah i am loving this right i am loving how how i am interacting with that, that this animation right this animation actually basically increases the user experience in our application right so we should use some basic animations right yeah this is amazing this is how animating this is how this box is animating while i'm releasing and i'm loving this right spring is little bounciness which is little bit little bit it is this box is bouncing right and i'm loving this 
bounciness okay you know there is a little alternative syntax to what we have done this way right let me show you that as well but that is a kind of older way of doing the things but that that also works i will comment this right and instead i will here receive a function right and inside this function i was receiving an event and gstu gesture right and if i move my fingers right this function will be responsible then i want to set the position and this position i can call the set value right yeah if you want to change the uh, position manually then we call, we can call the set value instead if we are making use of this animation then we need to call this two value right okay and inside again an object and x will be coming from this gesture g e s t u r e gesture dot d x and y will be coming from gesture g s gesture dot d y and i think this also works pretty well yeah if i again uh, move this and again this animation is being performed right so this also works so this all this syntax also works this syntax also works so yeah i showed you both the ways but this way is uh, like quite common right and you can this uh, do this as well right yeah so this these are the both the syntax right okay but this is quite common you will find this on the documentation yeah i don't know uh, why people use this but this is more easier right yeah you can do this as well okay yeah but in, but in most of the places you will find this way right okay yeah okay so i'll see you guys in the next video so we'll we'll be uh, combining this all the concept and we'll apply in some project right so i'll see you guys in the next video